Hello and welcome to this quick BSTOM session. Um, today we're going to cover the BSTOM auto lane capabilities with an emphasis on the BSTOM network capabilities. So let's click on the BSTOM client to open it up. As you can see over here, I'm going to click on a new project. Now I'm going to click on next. As you all know, BSTOM comes with 260 predefined modules, but what if I don't wanna test a predefined module? What if I have developed my own proprietary software or I wanna understand the specific communication of my server, of my DUT and so on? So for that case, we came up with the auto learn and with the build capability. So you can build up a web application module, you can build up a file module by importing a file. You can also build canvas module by importing DBC files. And you can also build, of course, a network module. So in this case, we're gonna set up the remote port to be 443 and we're gonna set up the IP we're going to use. So it's .47, that's our DUT for today. We're gonna click on learn. And over here, there are three options, basically. Option number one, man in the middle, basically BSTOM acts as a relay. So it receives the packets and then transmit them over to 47. But in the middle, BSTOM learn them and BSTOM understand how we can use them later for the fuzzing process. Uh, the third option would be the network sniffer where we connect an external sniffer. And again, inspecting the communication, understanding what data has been sent and use that later for the fuzzing. And today, the, uh, the option that we're gonna cover the most would be the HTTP proxy. That's what we're gonna show today. And basically, we're gonna listen on port 8080. And I'm gonna click on listen over here. Now, whenever we're gonna start up navigating through the, to the, you know, the Google Chrome or Firefox, it doesn't matter, the browser, um, whenever we're gonna do that, you would see sessions loading up on the left pane. Um, gonna type in proxy settings to see if my settings are correct. So in this case, I'm gonna click on user proxy server. That's the address, basically localhost. That's where BSTOM is. And as I showed earlier, BSTOM listens to communication on port 8080. I'm gonna click on save. And we're gonna open up Google Chrome to reach our machine. So if you go back to BSTOM, you can see the sessions that were loaded up over here. And those are keep on loading up, of course, because I have my um, Google application, like, you know, my Chrome extension and application. I have the connection to the DUT. So one should be careful in understanding which of those sessions is actually what I'm gonna fuzz. Which of the session is the one that is interesting for me to fuzz. So we're gonna click on stop over here and here I've located it. You can see that's session number 13. I'm gonna click on binary and click on generate. We're gonna check all. Basically what you see on the left side is the patterns that we can test. For example, we can test for string, we can test for integer, for values and so on. So you can see here alphabetic, alphanumeric, um, reserved order, normal order, and so on, ASCII, and et cetera. And we're gonna click on use. Now we have built our own specific module for our specific DUT. Over here in the monitoring side, we can decide what type of monitors we wanna use. So we can use TCP monitor, ICMP, ARP, and so on. And we can also use an external debugger if we wanted. I'm gonna click on next and finish. And there you go, BSTOM has actually loaded up a project with 6 million combinations, testing specifically my DUT, testing specifically the way my DUT communicates. It is an HTTPS server, that is correct, but it has some tweaks that I've changed. It has some buffers that are relevant that, that they're not relevant to all HTTPS servers, of course. So as you can see, you can go into the module browser and, and learn a little bit better on what BSTOM does, what BSTOM is testing. For for example, this container includes some buffers. So one of the buffers here is the position zero to eight. You can understand the amount of combinations covered. You can see that this one is a fixed data one, et cetera, et cetera. You can see repeated A's that we're testing, repeated percent N, repeated nulls and so on. And you could click on start 
and the project will start loading up and Bstorm will start sending packets to my DUT. I'm gonna click on pause. And basically I'm, I'm very grateful to have you, you folks listening to that short session. And I, if you want to increase the communication with us, so there you go, you have the beyondsecurity.freshdesk.com. That's our self-service portal. You have our support email address you can send us any question you have. And if you want to communicate with me further, you have my own uh, email address over here. Thank you very much for listening and hope that you will have fun uh, using Bistom and fuzzing with it. Thank you.